a village close to South Ossetia, they're cleaning up the debris from the recent war. The fighting between Georgia and Russia only lasted a few days, but it will take demining experts many months to find and destroy all the munitions which both armies left behind. Hidden in a field just metres from where children play in the courtyard of the nearest house is an unexploded bomblet. It's one of many which was scattered by a cluster bomb when it fell, but failed to detonate immediately. It has a outer jacket, the black uh, casing is notched for fragmentation effect. So when it goes off that will send fragmentation out uh, an anti-personnel role to kill or injure um, any personnel in, in the vicinity or detonation. These bomblets now operate like landmines, with the power to maim or kill civilians for years to come. In villages like this one where the fighting took place, the landscape is still littered with unexploded munitions. It's dangerous for some farmers to work in their fields. Some have been injured, and many have lost their only source of income. It's very risky to go into the orchards. People lost most of their crops, and it was very difficult to harvest the fruit that did survive the war. There are lots of unexploded bombs in our village. The children are afraid. Imagine, these children survived the war, and now bombs are exploding again. Everyone's afraid. Despite substantial evidence, Russia has completely denied using cluster bombs during the war. Georgia has made a partial confession, but now seems to be hoping the issue will be forgotten. No one here at the Georgian Ministry of Defence would agree to speak to us about cluster bombs. It's an indication, perhaps, that Georgia has been embarrassed by revelations that it used these controversial weapons. The Ministry just referred us to this statement, which insists cluster bombs were not used in populated areas. These rockets were never used against civilians, civilian targets and civilian populated or nearby areas during the conflict with Russia in South Ossetia region or beyond. The Gradlar system was used against Russian military equipment and armament marching from Roki Tunnel to Tsara Road. But the campaign group Human Rights Watch and a mine clearance organisation working in the conflict zone say that unexploded Georgian bomblets have been found in villages. They also say there's overwhelming evidence that Russia used cluster bombs during airstrikes, hitting populated areas. Maybe the Georgian will say, OK, we... we they deny this because they don't want to say that they have used those uh, on Georgian villages, on Georgian territory. Uh, for the Russian, yeah, we know the Russians, so they will always uh, find a good excuse and uh, always deny uh, these kind of things. So far, neither Russia nor Georgia has signed up to the international convention banning the use of cluster bombs. For people in villages like this one, though, it's already too late. The land around their homes is now effectively a minefield. Matthew Collin, Al Jazeera, Georgia.